Type 1 A Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved complete control over the energy resources of its home planet. This means it can harness all available energy from sources like the sun, wind, geothermal, and nuclear power to meet its needs. A Type 1 civilization might also have the technology to control and manage the planet's weather. This could include preventing natural disasters like hurricanes or controlling rainfall to eliminate droughts. Currently, humanity is not yet a Type 1 civilization, but we're steadily moving in that direction. Philip Metzger, a planetary scientist and co-founder of the Space Resources Program, predicts that nuclear and renewable energy alone won't be enough to power Earth as coal and oil run out. He suggests that humanity needs to start a 100-year project to develop spacecraft and mining operations in space, like on asteroids or the moon, to bring essential materials back to Earth. However, one of the few solutions we have left before harvesting resources from outer space is developing and safely utilizing nuclear fusion as it offers a nearly limitless source of clean energy. Achieving a Type 1 civilization would require a high degree of global cooperation, a foundation our civilization has already laid through the Internet. This intercontinental communication network facilitates the widespread sharing of knowledge and accelerates technological advancement on a global scale. However, the transition to a Type 1 civilization comes with significant risks. Environmentally, the rapid industrialization required could worsen climate change if not carefully managed. There's also the danger of depleting Earth's resources if we don't balance our consumption. Moreover, competition for control over these resources could create geopolitical tensions. Developing nuclear fusion also carries the risk of causing catastrophic damage if not handled properly. The risk of easier access to the development of weapons of mass destruction with the advancement of technology, which leads to a need for diversification between planets if the human race wants to keep existing. In a Type 1 civilization, energy would be plentiful, likely becoming either very inexpensive or even free, making it accessible to everyone. The environment would benefit from reduced pollution due to the heavy reliance on renewable energy sources. Cities would be smart and efficient, with automated systems managing everything from traffic to energy usage. Communication would be instant and seamless worldwide, with advanced technologies like quantum internet becoming the norm. With global communication networks and advanced technology, a Type 1 civilization might also see the development of a universal language or real-time translation devices effectively eliminating language barriers worldwide. Moreover, space exploration would likely expand significantly. We could support large-scale space missions, even potentially colonizing nearby planets or moons. Technologies such as space-based solar power stations could further extend our energy reach beyond Earth. Work would become more specialized, and many generic jobs might be automated. Over time, as we become more connected and share resources more effectively, we could see the emergence of a more unified global culture instead of smaller pockets of different cultures as we have right now.